Hello, bonjour, c'est les bienvenus. Uh, last week I uploaded a video called The Top 5 Things That You Probably Didn't Know About Jersey. And in that video I talked about how Jersey is a multicultural society with lots of different people groups um, living there in Jersey. Um, and a lot of them are immigrants that have come over from abroad uh, mainly to work in Jersey, most particularly at the moment. Um, our biggest immigrant groups is obviously from Britain, but also Portuguese Madeirans and um, Polish people. However, immigration to Jersey wasn't always from those countries. Um, and this is because Jersey used to be a very agricultural island. I mean, obviously there are still lots of farmland on Jersey, mainly for potatoes or herding um, or grazing fields for uh, Jersey cow herds. Um, but Jersey's main economy, um, say 100, 200 years ago, was definitely agriculture. Um, this was the for the Jersey Royal Potato, but also we had uh, tomatoes and other crops that we grew. Now, most of the workers on these farms, on these potato farms, um, 100 years ago, were mainly French. Now, Jersey is very close to France. I think it's something like 220 uh, kilometers off the coast of France. Um, so it was very easy for um, farmers in Jersey to bring over um, labor, bring over people from France to work on these potato fields. And most of the people that came to Jersey to work on the potato fields were from the region of Brittany in France. And many of them sailed to Jersey um, often as temporary workers from the port of Saint-Malo. Now, my grandfather owned a farm and he, uh, his, the workers that worked on that farm were, the vast majority of them were uh, French Bretons who worked on the farm on a, on a seasonal basis. So he would go over to Brittany and then he would basically give um, people um, boat tickets to come over to Jersey to work and he promised them uh, the type of pay that they would get and the accommodation and so on and so forth. So uh, my grandfather's farm um, was a very, let's just say, a multilingual place. I mean, French was the predominant language. My grandfather, he spoke French. My father, who um, grew up as English as his first language, also learned um, French from the farm. In fact, he learned French from um, a Breton guy with a lisp. So <laughs> later in life, when he went to France and he started speaking to French to people, he was speaking French, not only with a lisp, but also a really thick rural Breton accent, which really confused all these French people, this British tourist speaking with like a rural Breton accent with a lisp. Now, the interesting thing is, is that um, not only was French spoken on the farm by the Breton workers, but also many people know there's also another language spoken in Brittany, and that is Breton, which is a Celtic language, which is fairly closely related to Welsh and Cornish. Um, in, in Britain, in the UK. Now, not everybody that worked on my grandfather's farm were French. Uh, in fact, there were quite a lot of British seasonal workers that came over to Jersey um, to work on the farm. Um, and that brings us to today's story, which is about these two Welshmen, and this was in the, uh, in the 1970s, two Welshmen that came to Jersey and in, in looking for work and uh, were given a seasonal job on my grandfather's farm and uh, you know because they were I think I think for that season they may have been the only British people working on that farm uh, the rest of them were were Breton French um, and uh, they they weren't getting along with the other workers let's just say um, there was there was some like friction between the two because obviously they stuck to themselves because they mainly spoke English and the rest of them stuck to themselves and mainly, mainly spoke French. Um, so there was like rising tensions between between these two Welshmen and the rest of the French workers. Um, so these two Welshmen decided because obviously you know not only was French um, you know, a kind of lingua franca, it was kind of, you know, the working language, um, English also was. Um, so these two Welshmen, knowing that the rest of the French workers knew English, 
um, decided to uh, talk shit about their co-workers in Welsh, right? Because they're from Wales and, and they both spoke Welsh. So they, so they started talking shit about the rest of the French workers uh, in the Welsh language. Now, according to the story um, that my dad has told me, the what the Welshman didn't know is that the the Breton workers who, you know, were, were listening to them speaking in Welsh and in Welsh they were talking shit about them. Um, the the French the, the Breton workers um, actually spoke Breton or, or understood the Breton Celtic language. So they didn't they didn't necessarily understand exactly what they were saying, but they kind of got the gist that these these two guys were basically um, you know, saying bad things about them in Welsh. So, uh, yeah, basically shortly after the, the Breton workers said, yeah, don't turn up to work tomorrow, otherwise, you know. So, yeah, uh, not long after those two Welshmen um, took their pay and uh, <laughs> and left Jersey, uh, which I thought was a pretty interesting story. I don't know, I don't know how true it is. I, I don't know how easy it is for a Breton person to understand Welsh or and, and vice versa. So I don't know if you if you speak Welsh, it would be interesting to, to hear how easily you understand Breton. But yeah, I thought that was that was a really interesting story. So um, if you're speaking a, a, what you might think is an obscure language, yeah, you might might want to be careful as to who you're speaking that language around. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that story. Um, à la prochaine.